Hello, this is Dr. David Sit coming at you from the sit down. We're going to be giving you a tip of the day today relating to sleep. Have you ever noticed that you try to fall asleep at night and are rustling in bed for 20 or 30 minutes? Perhaps you even fall asleep but then wake up in the middle of the night and just can't get back to sleep. Some of you might even wake up super early in the morning without being able to fall back asleep losing those precious hours of dreamy yummy sleep. So you might be facing insomnia, what 15 to 20 percent of adults in America struggle with every day. So how do you deal with sleep? How can one improve on quality of sleep, perhaps even without a medication or a treatment such as melatonin? Well today I'm going to give you a few really constructive tips for improving sleep. First of all, if you find yourself in bed at night with an uncomfortable pillow or a mushy bed that isn't quite to your liking, the first thing to do is make a change. Create your environment for sleep that is very comfortable and without physical discomforts. Secondly, if when you fall asleep or when you attempt to go to sleep, you notice 20 minutes have passed, maybe 30 minutes, and you just can't fall asleep, the first thing that sleep, sleep experts tell you to do is to get up and get out of bed. Perhaps go sit on the couch, perhaps sit in an armchair, pick up a book, or watch a bit of TV. Just get out of the bed, because by staying in bed, you're creating an association between your restlessness and your bed so that if this happens several nights in a row where you're not able to sleep, you will begin to associate your bed with not sleeping. The only things to associate with your bed should be sleep and sex. That means not eating in bed, ideally not going on to your computer in bed, keeping it only to the basic needs of sleep and sex. Now, if you're finding that you're staying up very late at night and then you go into bed and you can't get to sleep. The next tip for you is not to get into bed until you are exhausted. I mean your eyelids are falling down on your face and you can't even speak a word clearly. That's when you get into bed. But no sooner than when you're exhausted. Tip number three. What you eat has an impact on how you sleep. So do not have a heavy meal before you go to bed. Try not to ingest a lot of sugar at night and certainly avoid all caffeine within at the very least three hours of going to bed, including Coca-Cola, caffeinated teas, and even chocolate. Finally, before going to bed, try not to engage in any heavy exercise. You should be leaving at least two hours of space and time before you go to bed from an evening workout. Start with those tips and see if they improve your sleep over the next few nights. Let us know in the sit down if these tips have helped and we hope to be giving you a few more tips over time that can help you improve your life to live a positive and happy life. Thank you from the sit down.